Without any further ado, please stand to your feet and honor the man of God, Prophet Charlie Sham. Charlie, would you come tonight? I can't hear you. That's sad. Let's go. Let's go. Amen. Well, hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a hand tonight. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Come on. Let's shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. You may be seated. What an amazing atmosphere there is tonight. Look over here, neighbor, and say, tonight's your night for a miracle. Yes. Hallelujah. If you're watching online, God has a miracle for you. There's never a time when God doesn't want to pour out his spirit. He's always just looking for somebody that he can pour into. Sometimes we think that we're already filled, but if we allow God to expand us, then there's more room for his goodness. Just touch your other neighbor and say, God wants to expand you tonight. Hallelujah. Sometimes we see weight loss miracles in meetings, but I pray tonight that the Lord will make you fat in the anointing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you need to get a spiritual fatness about you. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes you'll go through those doors that God is opening, but I pray that you got to go in sideways because you're so big. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. What an atmosphere there was last night. God did a lot of miracles. I mean, I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to stay right in the atmosphere. I thought, wow, people just kept coming to the front kept getting healed. Isn't that our God? I, I, <laughs> I went back to the room. I watched a little bit of the service. My daughter said, what are you doing? I said, I'm watching a little bit of this crazy service I was just at. How many were here last night? Amen. God is so good. I thought, whoo. Excuse me why I just take a drink here for a moment. Somebody needs to just put the hands on the person that's next to you right now and on, your, on their shoulder and just give them a drink. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, my. It's getting saucy in here. It's getting weighty in here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Let's, let's go to Jeremiah again tonight. Jeremiah 33, amen, the prophet Jeremiah. Not everybody named Jeremiah is a prophet. <laughs> Jeremiah is also a bullfrog. <laughs> amen. Elisha was bald. That doesn't mean every bald-headed man is a prophet either. My daughter told me today that, um, that uh, if you're bald, it's, you're, it's very dangerous for you to be around eagles. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> they swoop down and actually will attack you. 
Well, moving right along tonight. Are you in Jeremiah? This is a real prophet named Jeremiah. Amen. You know Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Well, we ain't got time to sing that tonight. In Jeremiah 33, 3. Very familiar passage of scripture tonight. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Scroll down to verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and a cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Now, there's something very powerful that we have to understand about revival and the outpouring of the Holy Ghost. We often think about the power of the Spirit and our part that we play in causing God to show up. And we often think about how it is actually probably the strenuousness and our labor that causes God to show up in spectacular ways. But according to Jeremiah 33, 3, he says no matter what, as long as we call, he's going to answer. A lot of times we think that it is our dedication and our uh, personal, you know, strenuous pushing that causes God to show up in a mighty way. We think it's the amount of crying that we do. We think that it's, it's somehow that if we show enough to God to let him know that we're really serious, then he's going to come and show up. As if it's really our decision where God goes. We, we always think that it's because of well, how good we are that God shows up and does what he does. We always think it's because, well, I prayed really hard and I fasted really hard and now God's got to show up. But really, the Bible says that when we just call on him, he's going to be there. See, touch your neighbor and just say, God's going to show up the moment you open up your mouth. See, we think it's about what we do, but it's actually all about what he's already done. See, tonight, God is here to heal you, deliver you, set you free, not because of how good you are or even because you've practiced and, you, and you've come to a fullness of maturity on how to call upon his name that he's going to come and touch you tonight or touch your family. It's actually the foolishness That God comes and pours out his glory. It's the, it's, the, it's the foolishness. In fact, the gospel to many people is foolishness. If it makes sense and it's so analytical, I doubt that it's the gospel. Because Paul said, I didn't come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom and in demonstration of the spirit so that your faith would not rest in the wisdom of men but in the faith of God see you can't even open up your mouth and cry to him 
without faith and knowing that he's going to answer whatever you're calling upon him for. See, you can open up your mouth and you can shout or you can cry. But when you mix that, that release with faith, God says, there's someone that I'm, I'm going to go and I'm going to visit. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, man, it's getting thick in here right now. See, God wants to show us things. What's he going to show us? He's going to show us fully restored. He's going to show us fully healed. He's going to show us fully baptized in his glory. He's going to show us his goodness every single time. And it's not because of our performance that he does it. Our, our goodness isn't good enough to get God to show up. But his glory is so great that it overrides every area of our life where we don't even necessarily believe that he can do what we're even saying he's going to do. But God, God just looks for somebody that's going to call on him. God's just looking for somebody that's going to say, hey, God, over here. I remember one time I was at this revival meeting and God was touching people on one side of the building. Power of God was hitting these people. And I thought, man, that's amazing. God, why don't you come over here? I said, God, why are you only in one part of, the, part of the room? He just said, why don't you open up your mouth? Tell me to come over there. So in the middle of the meeting, while the preacher was up there, I said, hey, God. See, God's not a respecter of persons. He just looks for somebody that says, hey, God, over here. See, it, it, it doesn't matter what our need is. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It doesn't matter what the doctor says. Come on, somebody. It doesn't matter what's going on in the family. Doesn't matter what's going on in our body. Doesn't matter what's going on in our finances. Doesn't matter what the lies of the enemy are. It doesn't matter what we've told ourselves or someone told us in the past. It doesn't matter how we were raised or what our family said about us. It doesn't matter, you know, what, what people have spoken against us. When we call upon his name, he's going to show up and he's going to show off and he's going to show us mighty things. And when he shows up and shows off, it's going to be things that we don't even know or comprehend that he could be so good to give us God's just that good God's just that good that he would heal your body God's just that good that he would take off the sorrow that has been placed upon you and put some joy in your life that's so unspeakable that you got to be carried out of here tonight because God wants to make you drunk in the Holy Ghost. He wants to saturate you in his spirit. He wants to fill you so full that you don't even know where you start and he ends. He wants to fill you so full of his glory that you can't even comprehend how good he is 
is and you can't even start to imagine how much he loves you. God wants to fill you. He wants to flood you. He wants to give you all the treasures of his kingdom. He wants to pour out his presence upon you. He died on the cross for you. He said that he, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God isn't waiting for you to clean yourself up. God went to a cross, died a death so that you could be baptized into him, come up into a new life. And when you call on him, he says, I'm going to answer you. See, the Bible tells us that all those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There has never been a person that has ever called on the name of Jesus where he did not show up. There has never been a moment in human history where God did not show up for somebody that called upon his name. Because God cannot contradict his word. He said, if you call upon me, I'm going to answer you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's good news tonight. That's good news because you might, you might have gotten a call this week from, the, from someone that was telling you that they were never going to talk to you ever again. Maybe your son called you this week. And you had a falling out with him. And he said, hey, I'm never going to talk to you again as long as I live. Maybe something happened where you got a call this week from the creditors. And they were telling you that they're going to come and repossess your car. There are some calls that you never want to get. Maybe you got a call from the doctor. And they told you to come in and have another scan and a biopsy because they found some kind of a tumor and they, they want to look at it again. Some calls you don't want to get. Maybe in your past, you even have had a situation in your family where a family member died and you got the call. These are calls that you never want to get. But the Bible says that when we call upon the name of Jesus, he is always going to answer us. And it's always going to be good news. Touch your neighbor say, God's got good news for you tonight. See, you listen to some preachers and they'll tell you just how, 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 how when you call on God, he's going to tell you how wretched and worthless you are. How bad you are. How terrible you have been. But that's not our God. In fact, whenever we look at the life of Jesus, we see God incarnated. And we can always look at Jesus and see God. However, however Jesus was in the Gospels is the way that we know that God's nature is always going to be towards us. There was never a rejection ever from Jesus when it came to someone that called upon him. Turn with me to the book of Mark tonight. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10, verse 47 says, And they came to Jericho, and as they went out, Jericho, and with his disciples, and a great number of people, Blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he had heard it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him 
that he should hold his peace. But he cried out the more a great deal. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. See, when you cry to the Lord or you shout or you open up your mouth or you call upon him, never let somebody tell you to be quiet. Some of you tonight are trying to be too dignified. And maybe you grew up in a religious setting. Maybe you grew up in a, a structure of, of religion that said, well, don't get too crazy. Don't get too wild. Just stay nice and calm and peaceful. Keep it all under control. My God, you don't got your life under control. See, we'll come to church and we'll act dignified. See, we come, we'll come to church and try to blend in. But this is the place. Where you where you should let it all just let it all hang out. If the church <laughs> if the shakole metia seko malabakiana sapakala see we're trying to we're trying <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to be we're trying to be perfect. We're thinking that one Sunday we're going to come all and all in here and everybody's going to be perfectly cleaned up, pastor. And then we'll be able to call upon Jesus. And that's when he's going to answer us with this great and mighty torrent of revival. There's going to be one Sunday where every single person that was a filthy, rotten, wretched sinner is going to be perfectly, and there's not going to be one single person that comes into the church that has a spot or a wrinkle upon them. Sounds like a cemetery to me. <laughs> See, if you came in here tonight with some, with some problems, then you're the perfect candidate that God is looking for to call out to him because he wants to, he wants to set you on fire. He wants to show you some things. See, we, we, we're, we're thinking that we got to be perfect in order to see great and mighty things. But Jesus is just saying to us, all you got to do is call on me. See, blind Bartimaeus was blind. He couldn't even see which direction. All he knew is he heard that Jesus was coming. He didn't even know what direction Jesus was at.
Jesus is over here and blind Bartimaeus is like, hey, <laughs> Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus is walking way over here. He, Jesus. See, it wasn't Bartimaeus' perfection that got Jesus' attention. It wasn't his ability to see that got him to move in the right direction. It was the fact that he said, God, have mercy on me. See, the Bible says that grace and mercy is going to follow us all the days of our life. I'm telling you tonight, it doesn't matter what has happened in your past. It doesn't matter. You might have strayed off the course. You might have went in a different direction. But I'm telling you that grace and mercy is going to chase you down. He's going to follow you. He's going to find you. I'm telling you, people, you, you, you came here tonight and you're saying, I don't even know why I came to church. It's because the mercy and grace of God. He drew you into this place. He's that good. He's that amazing. He, 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 <laughs> oh my. <laughs> yes. By and by, Mays probably looked like a fool. He was crying out. He was crying out and didn't even know what direction Jesus was going. Only that he heard. See, maybe tonight you came here and you just heard. Maybe you've heard about Jesus. Maybe you heard some religious thing from your childhood. You know, it's a, it, it, you can learn more in Sunday school than sometimes you can learn in the main sanctuary. <laughs> you know, Jesus is good. The devil is bad. Some preachers got it mixed up. <laughs> like Jesus is gonna, Jesus is going to beat you till you get it right. That doesn't sound like the Jesus that I know. Clean yourself up, and then you can come. Doesn't sound like the Jesus that I know. Doesn't matter how blind we are in life. And we, don't, we couldn't know the direction that we're supposed to take, the next decision that we're supposed to make, and we don't even want to do the next decision or even trying to head in a direction, because every which way that we've turned all of our life has been the worst decisions that we've ever made. Because a life without Jesus is always going to lead you into a ditch. But when we find Jesus, he's always going to touch us and make us to see that it wasn't our goodness. It wasn't our perfection. It wasn't how good we were or, 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 or how many, you know, times we went to church or, or you know, we didn't do bad things that, that made him look upon us. It was his love for you. Verse 
verse 50 says, and he cast away his garment and rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered him, what will thou that I should do to thee? Listen, Jesus is asking you tonight, what do you want him to do for you? Look over at your neighbor and say, what do you want Jesus to do for you tonight? Jesus answered and said, what, what, what willst thou I do, that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto them, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Jesus had to have known the man was blind. But he was like, what, what, what do you really want? See, when we're calling upon Jesus, he's willing to give us all the treasures of his kingdom. But what do we really want? What are we really looking for? Because when we get specific with Jesus, he's going to answer whatever we're asking for. And the blind man said to him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Isn't that something that Jesus, this is what Jesus says. He doesn't even pray for the man. He just says, go. Did you catch that? He didn't even pray the prayer. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Father God, we call upon you this day for this man. What was your name? <laughs> Bartimaeus. You see him standing in the hour of need. We ask you with your mighty hand that you might come down. <laughs> Here is thou now our prayer. For you are Jehovah Rapha. You ever been in one of those meetings? Mighty God. You've been in one of those meetings before? Too many. Too many. Praise God. Depending on where you go is the prayer. Ah, oh, yes, Lord. Heal the blind eye. Got less laughs on that one. It's, it's called Seattle. Be careful, we're gonna cancel you. He said, go your way. He didn't even pray. I wonder when his eyes opened. The Bible says immediately. But I think it was the moment that he heard the answer from Jesus, go. And the moment that he took that step, that first movement of his leg, his eyes opened and he began to see. See, the move of God happens when you begin to move with him. 
See, the blindness comes off and the righteousness begins to come when we start moving in the direction and we say, I don't care what has happened in my past. I don't, I don't care what people have said about me. I don't care what has happened or transpired throughout my childhood. I'm stripping myself off of all of that and I'm turning towards you, Jesus, and I'm coming to you and whatever you say for me to do, that's the direction I'm gonna begin to go. Yeah. Lift up your hands tonight. Oh my, Holy Ghost and fire. Tonight, the Lord is in this place. His hand is not short to, he, that he cannot save. It's when we call upon his name that he comes and fills us, restores us, delivers us, sets us free. It's when we call upon his name that he heals us, that he breaks the bondage, that he destroys the yoke, that he anoints us, that he fills us. See, we can think that we're so full that there's no more room for him. But if we would just open ourselves up, then God would come and fill us afresh. Tonight all over this meeting, you're here tonight and you don't know Jesus. You came here, you don't know where you would spend eternity at whether you would go to heaven or hell. Tonight is your night. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. And it doesn't matter what you've done in your past or how wicked you've been. The garments of sin can be upon you, but Jesus is greater than any work of darkness. The Bible says that when we call upon him, we shall be saved. The Bible tells us that when we confess with our mouth, we believe in our heart that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, we shall be saved. The devil cannot stop us from receiving salvation. He was destroyed 2,000 years ago on a cross. There isn't a single thing that the devil can do to stop you from receiving full deliverance and coming into salvation. The Bible says that when we call upon him, we shall be saved. Tonight, underneath the sound of my voice, there are those that are here tonight, you came here and you do not know Jesus. You might have just came in off the street. Maybe you heard about this meeting or maybe you just saw that the lights were on in this church and this parking lot was full and you came into the meeting to see what was going on. But tonight is your night to receive Christ. You might have been like blind Bartimaeus and you might have had somebody have to bring you into this place tonight. But the Lord's hand is reaching out. Maybe tonight, you were a backslidden, maybe lukewarm Christian, and the Lord is saying it's time to catch fire. Maybe you're living a nominal Christian life and the Lord wants to fill you so full of him that you'll begin to walk in the same way that Jesus walked. And you'll begin to do the same kinds of miracles. The Lord is not looking for a, um, a, some kind of a church that's lukewarm and mild. The Lord is looking for on fire, spirit-filled believers. 
not with one foot in the world, the other foot in, you know, in, the, in heaven. God is looking for someone that's going to walk that road with Christ. And I'm not talking about a religious road. I'm talking about a road that is filled with joy unspeakable and full of glory. I'm talking about waking up every single day and saying, good morning, Holy Spirit. I'm talking about a life filled with God where you want to read your Bible. You want to pray. You want to serve him. I'm not talking about works. I'm not talking about some kind of religious format of discipleship. Well, you know, I better not do this or that. I'm talking about a life that is filled with the Spirit of God. You're here tonight, and you don't know where you would go. You're lukewarm. You're backslidden, but you want to come to Jesus. Tonight's your night. All across this auditorium, and even those that are watching online, if you don't know Jesus or you're backslidden, you're away from him, and you want the fire of God to come afresh in your life tonight, I want you to make a bold statement, get out of your seat, and come to the front right now. Don't wait, don't wait until, you know, every head bowed, eye closed. No, come right now, make a bold statement and say, Jesus, I'm coming to you. I'm making a bold stand, a declaration that I am going to live for you. I'm calling upon your name. I'm not going to walk any longer in blindness. I'm coming before your throne and I'm saying, Jesus, whatever you want to do with my life, you can do it. Whatever you you want to do with me I'm yielding I'm laying down my life I'm coming to you I'm laying my life down at the cross if that's you I want you to come right now get out of your seat and come come on let's give them a hand as they're coming right now there's fire in this building tonight there's fire in this house tonight there's fire in this place right now. Look over at your neighbor and just say, hey, do you know Jesus? If they say, I I I'm not sure, I want you to bring them right now. We're going to pray in just a few moments. But there, are, there, there is a pool that's happening in this auditorium. There is a call right now that is, that is being released. And you have this heart's cry. God, I don't know the direction of my life. God, I don't know if I'm saved. God, I don't know what I'm going to do. That is the call that is an eternal call inside of you. And God is saying, I'm ready to answer you with my fire. I'm ready to answer you with my power. I'm ready to answer you with my blood. God, I can't get right. I, 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 I've done that. I've done it before God and I you know I just keep going back tonight is a night of deliverance tonight is a night that you'll be set free tonight is a night that God will bring you back and clean you restore you heal you deliver you come on somebody God will set you free come on let's lift up our hands right now I don't want to move from this moment because I feel like God is still pulling on people right now. You're afraid to come, but I break that spirit of fear off of you right now. Get out of your seat and come right now. That's it. Let's give them a hand as they're coming. Come on, let's shout right now as they're coming.
Let's stretch our hands towards them right now. I want us to pray this prayer tonight. You that are in the front, I want us to pray this prayer together. I want you to pray it so that you can hear yourself praying it. Such a presence of the Holy Spirit here right now. Stretch your hands towards them. And just let's pray in the Spirit for a moment. Come on, let's lift up our voice. Let's pray this prayer right now. Say, Lord Jesus. Shout it. Say, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash and cleanse me and set me free. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died for me. I receive you now as my Lord and Savior. Satan, you are not my God. I will serve you no longer. Go from me now in the mighty name of Jesus. Say this, say, Holy Spirit, teach me to serve God. Holy Spirit, teach me to serve God. Holy Spirit, fill me now. If you're in the front, lift your hands. Shut your hands towards them. Start to pray right now in the Holy Ghost. Father, for these that are in the front right now, I pray for the fresh fire and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. I pray for the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of God right now. Fire of God on you, man. Fire, 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 fire. Baptize them in fire. 
fire, 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 pick him up. That's the fire of God on him. Fire of God. Fire. Fire. Fire right now. Jesus, fire of God right now. Fire fill him right now. Fire of God. Fire. Fire of God. Come on, let's lift up our voice. Let's just start praying. There's fire in here right now. Take that fire, lady. Take that fire. Take that fire. Fire, fire. 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 Fire of God. Come on, lift your voice. You're sitting in your chair. Come on. Start to call upon him right now. Start to call on, I'm, I'm telling the fire of God is here. Start asking him for whatever you have need of tonight. Say, God, come, touch, fill, 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 fill. Pick him up. Pick him up.
Go ahead and just lift your hands right now all across this auditorium. Praise the Lord. That's the power of God starting to fall on you right now. Father, I thank you tonight for miracles. All over this auditorium. Lord, thank you for your miracle power. Starting to move right now. Come on, lift, it, li lift your hands. Just start thanking him right now for your miracle. The power of God's here. Let's sing that again. Put your hand on your neighbor's shoulder right now. There's electric power that's flowing in here. Someone with, the, with a numbness on the right side of your face. God is healing you right now. You have numbness. It's like right below your right eye. This happened from some kind of a, a, a surgery or some sort of a, some, like a surgery that you had and God is healing it right now. The, the numbness where the, there's been nerve damage there, God is healing that right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Somebody's, somebody's jaw on the left side just got healed. Like a T, it's like a TMJ uh, 
in your jaw on the left side God is healing you right now somebody's right shoulder just got healed you had a torn rotator cuff on the right side God healed that right now father thank you I I, I see also stomach ulcers being healed right now by the power of God there's someone that came in here tonight and you have a rare blood disease you have a rare blood disease, but God is healing that right now. There's a, it's a diagnosis from the doctor that's a blood condition that you have, but God is healing your blood right now. God is healing that in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you right now for cleansing that blood in their body in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice right now. Just begin to pray. There's electric power flowing all across this auditorium right now. Healing power flowing. That tumor on the neck just dissolved. There, there's someone with a tumor on the right side of your neck. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you right now. Don't even wait for me to call out what you, what you're believing God for. Just start calling upon Him right now. I command this in the neck to be healed by the power of God. Lower back conditions to be healed where there's arthritic conditions, degeneration. In the name of Jesus, be healed right now by the power of God. command crippling arthritis to leave your body in the name of Jesus. I command ankles and knees to be given strength now. I command metal to dissolve in the name of Jesus, pins and plates right now by the power of God. I thank you, Lord, for where there is pins and plates, God, that you're reconstructing and putting bone and, and marrow back where there is pins and plates in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for creative miracles happening right now by the power of God. I thank you for cataracts falling off the eyes. Let's receive your miracle right now. Lift up your voice. Don't let it get quiet in here. Receive right now. 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 I break depression off of you in the name of Jesus. Anxiety off of you right now. Suicidal spirits, I bind you in the name of Jesus. In the power of the Most High God, I adjure every demonic spirit in this place. Be bound now. Be bound. In the name of Jesus. Power of God right now. 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 Power of God right now.
There's a wave. There's a there's a wave of healing that is flowing through this building right now. If God is healing you, I want you to wave at me. He's doing something. He's healing you. God did something in your body. You're healed. I want you to come here right now and tell me what He's doing. There's also someone here. I I, I believe it's a woman in your left ear. You're deaf, but God is healing that. He's opening your 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 left ear right now. There's also a man, you have uh, almost complete loss of vision in your right eye due to uh, like a cataract of some sort. And God is melting that off of your eye right now. 
receive your miracle if God's healing you come here right now and tell me what he's doing just hold on just come right now just come right now get out of your seat and come and tell me what he's doing come and tell me what he's doing some of you need to check and see what God's doing right now. If he touched you, if he healed you, he did something in your body, just come right now. If he's healing you, he's doing something, wave at me right now. If he's healing, he's touching you, come here right now. Come, 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 tell me what he's doing. Some of you are starting to feel the fire of God just going through your whole body. You may never even felt that before. It's like your whole body's vibrating. I want you to come here. I want to pray for you tonight. Your whole body, you, it's just like, just ushers, if you can help me, just bring them over here. If that's you, you, you it's like your whole body's tingling. I want you to come here right now. Your whole body is, is like, feels like it's tingling. Just ushers, if we can bring them over there, because I want to pray for all of them right now. to do something just line them up your whole body is tingling I want you over here If God healed you, just come come and put your feet right against this so I know who you are. God healed you. Just come put your feet right there. God healed you. Just come, come right over here. Guys, if we can bring one solid line. Of, if, if the power, man, the power of God so strong here right now. I'd like to have one solid line if we can. I want to, if, if you're, if you are like your whole body is shaking, just bring up, yeah, bring them up a little bit. tonight what's happening 
earlier I had my hips prayed for, but yes. tonight as we were just praying, you mentioned ankles and I felt this heat and the young man that was behind me started praying in the spirit and I just could feel, I could feel and I just, I took off my boots, but I am healed. You're healed. My ankles are well. Yes. What, what, what happened tonight? I asked the Lord to restore me from my past. I had a, I was abused as a child. And it wouldn't leave me. I had plenty of friends. I don't know how big he had. He put a sand on me. And I could feel it just going away, just, just leaving me. You got delivered tonight. Yeah. By restoration, I got What happened tonight? So I came here and I was hoping for healing for my cough. I've had a cough since August. And after you laid hands on me, I felt the presence of God in my throat. And I know he has healed me with his holy vapor rub today. So praise be to God. He's so good. Oh! God was healing somebody's shoulder, yeah. and my shoulder doesn't hurt anymore. Can you lift it for me? You couldn't do that? No. Put it back down again. Did Jesus heal you? You said, I felt the fire of God in here, and then you said there's a creative miracle, and I've been believing God to melt the metal in my back from back surgery. And when you said that, fire of God hit me and threw me back in my seat, and I felt my back curve go like that, and I know, and it realigned completely, and I can move like I haven't been able to move since they put all the metal in my back and take a vertebrae out and put bone and marrow in a place that a whole vertebrae was out. Can you walk up the stairs for me for a minute? You can run up the stairs. I can do what you, you had metal all through your spine? In L4, L5, I had a whole bunch of metal like this in there. And I was the one that, what, three nights ago, I flushed Percocet in the morning because God said, I seen a vision of me flushing Percocet. And he said that I would be healed if I was willing to lay it down. So this has been like a progressive miracle for days. Yes. yes. So God's been con consistently healing you. And then tonight... When I called out the metal, God threw you, in, like you went flying back in your chair. Is that what happened? I went back in my chair like this, and my body started realigning. You felt your spine realigning? Yes. I Did you feel the metal before, like when you touched it? I couldn't feel it before, but I could feel restriction in the area. Do what you couldn't do before, right now. Do something that you... I could have been down all the way. No, not without feeling it and having restrictions right in where I had surgery right here and stuff. How long ago did you have surgery? I had it in 2018. 2018. So it wasn't that long ago. No. I, and all the pain's gone. You feel good tonight. I have the last two nights since I've been healed. I have not had any meds whatsoever. Not even Advil. Nothing. And I would have to to go to sleep. I'd have to take Percocet, sleeping pills. Wow. I'd have to take over-the-counter stuff, wow. and I'd only sleep two, three hours. Wow. And, and some nights I'd have to pray to God, say, okay, I'll make it just another hour, just another hour, just to morning, God. I'm believing you for my miracle. I'm believing you, and I would not give up. You're not giving up. And I never gave up. 
And you felt like God just realigned your whole spine tonight. I know he did. Well, come here real quick. I, bend down again. Take me by the hand. Just go ahead and take me by the hand. Bend right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Lift up your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless her right now. Do we have a metal detector? Somebody get me a metal detector. I want to check her back. L lift your hand. What, what, what happened tonight? Tinnitus. Ten years, maybe more. I'm, I'm telling you, it's like five fire alarms going off inside of my ears constantly. I, and I've learned, just to, I've learned how to deal with it and adjust to it. And I just noticed silence that I'm not accustomed to knowing. More, maybe even more than 10 years. It's, it's been crazy, crazy loud in here. And uh, I wouldn't, it's not 100%, but it's about 90% of it has dropped off. Yeah. About 90% of it's gone right Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I received that. Amen. Go with your miracle. Yes. Hallelujah. What happened? Well, that July, I got this, um, like, you, you called out the left. Um, what did you call it? Yeah, my jaw. So it started to hurt, and it was sore to the touch and it started when I chewed I, it was popping and stuff yes. so um, it doesn't hurt anymore tonight all it was it was starting to get better but it wasn't all the way gone but it's all the way gone wow. yeah Lord bless her whoa thank you Lord fire amen amen go with your miracle God bless you what happened you called out um, healing or strengthening of the ankles and I've had problems with both of my ankles so I don't have any pain right now and I'm believing that that's the end I don't just close your eyes Father in the name of Jesus saturate her right now with the power of God Amen Amen are these guys in line as well? okay just move them over here bring them over here what what happened? Um, I was asking God for wisdom and knowledge of him and his kingdom so that um, he can use me to, to shine his light. And I've just flooded with the spirit. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> just bless him tonight. What happened? Did God heal you? What happened? Um, well, so I had prayer a little while ago for um, my back because I had hurt my back. And it was healed. Um, and, but I've just been having like on and off uh, back pains. So that was one thing. Uh, the second thing was um, I also had deliverance for um, the spirit of and uh, the spiritual oppression of uh, suicide and um, depression. And um, but I've been entertaining those thoughts again lately, you know, and uh, now I just, like, I have complete peace now. It just broke off of you tonight. Yes, yes, absolutely. You felt God just deliver you. And the, the final thing was I was, I was praying for a, a double portion of this anointing on me. Father, in the name of Jesus, just saturate him tonight from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Lord, let your electric power touch him right now. Fwah! By the power of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Most High God just fill him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. God, we give you glory. Father, we thank you that that spirit of suicide will never attack him again. We bind it in the name of Jesus. He was made for such a time as this. Lord, your anointing is upon him. You have called him. God, we decree and declare over his life. Luke 4, 18, the spirit of the Lord is upon him because he hath anointed him to preach. I break every lie off of you in the name of Jesus. Every suicidal thought that has tried to come, we 
bind it, break it, and shatter it in the name of Jesus. We bind every soul tie. We cut it off of your life. We thank you, Father, that he is a new creation in Christ. And from this night forward, he will walk forward in his destiny and his purpose. He will never go back. Lord, I thank you that he will run and not be weary. He will walk and not faint. Lord, I thank you that you'll lift him up. Lord, I thank you for a prayer life that is that is powerful. Father, I thank you for the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of revelation to come upon him. God, I pray for dreams. I pray for visions. I pray for angelic activation in his life. Lord, I thank you right now. Shake him. Lord, let your power begin to flow through him. Lord, make him a mighty vessel for you. Lord, use him in a mighty way. God, I thank you that he'll be used to set captives free. Father, wherever the devil bound him, Lord, may he set people free. Lord, may he never look back. May he run in the things of God. May he, may he, may he move with the spirit of the Lord. I thank you that the spirit of the Lord is upon him because he hath anointed him to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that he'll outrun chariots. Lord, I thank you that the chariots are on fire. He's running, he's running, he's running. Lord, let him run like Elijah. Lord, let him outrun every addiction, every demonic oppression, every spirit of anxiety, stress, depression, suicide. In the name of Jesus, may he run right into his destiny. If you believe that, say amen. Amen. What happened? Come a little closer to me. What happened tonight? So I also have back problems and have been going to the chiropractor. And (laughs) and during this conference, the pain and tightness has been excruciating. And today, tonight, I felt like it melted. It began to melt out of my body. It melted out of your body. That's what it felt like. It felt like it was melting out of your body. Come here. Stand right here. Lift up your hands. Power of God. Power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Did God do something for you tonight? What's happening? You just feel the fire of God all over you. You, you, you feel like you're carrying two bowling balls. Just lift your hands high. Father, in the name of Jesus. The power of God flow through him right now. God heal you tonight, sir. Come, come, come right here. Did God heal you tonight? What's happening? You felt a supernatural wind come and blow on you? Yeah, I was looking up to see if there's a fan or if somebody else is blowing on me. So I didn't see anything, but I'm sitting on the aisle. There's nobody on the, on the aisle. So I pray, I ask the Lord, I say, God, I'm calling up upon you. Uh, I need healing on my eye. So I think I'm seeing a little, a little bit better on my left eye, but I'm, healing, I'm believing that healing is, complete healing is on the way. Are you blind in your eye? The central vision is not good. Can you take your glasses off for me? It's your left eye. You believe God will touch it right now? Step a little closer to me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak over this eye right now. Command healing power to flow into this eye. Lord, I thank you. That where there's been sight that has been lost, you're restoring it tonight. Father, I thank you for the power of God going into this eye and recreating it, making it whole. Lord, I thank you that you'll give him his vision back. Where there has been, where there has been blindness, I bind the spirit of blindness. Lord, I thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost going into this eye right now. I thank you for your healing power flowing now in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In 
the mighty name of Jesus. That's his wife. She needs healing in her eyes as well. What's going on with your eyes? Okay. Um, I have a severe myopias and a floaters. And uh, now develop, cannot see at night. Very difficult to see. You believe the Lord will touch him right now? Yes. You believe God's going to heal you? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I take authority over this blindness in the eyes. Father, I curse every demonic spirit, every foul devil that has attempted to make them blind in the name of Jesus. I take authority over this curse. And Lord, I thank you for your healing power flowing into these eyes. I command these floaters, this blindness to come out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Did God touch you tonight, man? What happened? So, a few months ago, I had lost a childhood best friend to street violence. And all I ever wanted was retaliation back on that. And I had these suicidal thoughts constantly. Because I knew if I did something, I would be ready. And you came up tonight and gave your life to Jesus. Someone was telling me to go back to church. Tonight you gave your life to the Lord. You wanted to kill somebody, kill yourself. But that broke off tonight, didn't it? Lift your hands. I bind every spirit of rage, every tormenting spirit, Every self-mutilating devil that has tried to destroy you even from your childhood. I take authority over your past, over your memories of even, your, even as you were a child. I bind every devil that has attacked your life. Every spirit that has harassed you. Every demon that has beat on you. Tonight I take authority over that mutilating spirit, that murdering demon. You foul devil, you have no place in his life anymore. He's born again and saved. You have to leave his life for good. Every lie of the enemy in his mind. I take authority over it tonight in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that you will saturate him. My God, the power of God is on you. Lord, I release that oil right now in Jesus' name. Power of God on him. Restoration right now in Jesus' name. and pray right now.
Go ahead and lift up your hands. Sir, come back. The red. Check your eye now. Check your eyes. It's better now. Go with your miracle. God bless you. Lift up your hands. Lord, fire of God right now. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire. Oh. Fire. Right now. Lord Jesus. Thank you. What? There it is. That's Jesus. Oh. That's Jesus. Woo. her up right now.
what happened? There's another wave of healing just streaming through this meeting. If you just lift up your hands, just engage with it right now. your hands right now. Just take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Fresh fire right now. Fresh baptism of fire. Fire. Lord, feel right now. Lord, feel right now. That's it. Just take it. 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 That's the power. 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 What happened to you tonight? Uh, well, uh, the first thing that you said that uh, nerve damage because of the surgery. The nerve damage because of the surgery, that was you? So uh, I had a, a deep uh, uh, cleaning and also laser procedure. It's like a surgery for the undergum. Mm, so one of the uh, nerve over here got damaged. And I had a really, for one week, I had really bad pain. And then after that, uh, I was on, you know, regular medication, not uh, like Advil. But it didn't go away, so I had the numbness and yes. pain. Uh, so I cannot feel it anymore unless I touch it. You can touch it and, and, and you feel it now? Uh, over here, if I touch it, I don't feel it. But if I go inside, I feel it a little bit. God healed you tonight. 80%, I would say, it's gone. You came up for the altar call tonight. Yeah, I did. You got saved. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Are you on right now? Yes. Come up here for a minute. So God healed you tonight. You were the lady with the surgery and the numbness and that, but you're Iranian. You're from Iran? Mm -hmm. Yes. Lift up your hands. I want, to, I want to pray for Iran tonight. Father, is that okay? We're going to use you as a point of contact for the nation of Iran. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a mighty outpouring of revival in the nation of Iran. God, we thank you that the nation will come to Jesus in a mighty, powerful way. That, Lord, that the revival will not just stream into the nation, but, Lord, it will be so powerful that it will stream out. In the name of Jesus, if you believe that, shout a mighty hallelujah. What happened? What happened again, man? What happened to your foot? So I, I got a blister from working in uh, bad shoes, and I got my foot lanced and cut open. And your foot was cut open? Yeah, it was cut open by a doctor and everything. And then I didn't even ask for healing for that. I asked for healing for my shoulder. But... I took my bandage off and I don't have any any cut, no nothing. No. Take your shoe off. Let me see.
That's where it was cut open. And it's gone now. It's just skin. Yep. It's just skin. It was cut open. Yep. Was cut, was you came here tonight and it was cut open. You had a bandage every, on. Ask, every, ask everyone. I, I, I've been part of the teen challenge group. They took me to the hospital. So. And God just healed it. Healed it. Yeah. Wow. Lift your hands. <laughs> Power of God through his whole body. Lord, thank you for that miracle. That's a wild one. Did God heal you tonight? Did God heal you? What happened? Yes, yes. You had an aneurysm. Yes. Do you think God healed you? What, ha what, what, what could you, what is happening with your eye now? So it's more like aneurysm. Aneurysm is, um, is kind of, you know, the blood vessel. Yes. The blood vessel kind of like a bubble. Uh -huh. So this is why to cure that, they put a stent. They put a stent there. So this is why I, every day I have to take, you know, I have to take medicine. The yes. Medicine. You felt like God did something tonight though? something but i'm not a hundred percent sure so that is why i come here i say you know if if it is if i'm not a hundred percent cured i would like to lord just lift your hands right now lord thank you that you're going to confirm this miracle in jesus name let it flow right now let it flow did god do something tonight thank you lord fill her tonight fill her tonight Jesus name in the name of Jesus what's happening my left shoulder more than three months the swollen was paid all the pain's gone now on your shoulder lift it Let's lift our hands one more time tonight. That's it, just lift your hands high, just let him. Saturate you tonight. Pray for revival in your family. Revival in your marriage. Things that you've been calling upon his name for. I pray that this would be a time where he begins to answer you and show you those things. Father, I thank you for that cloud of your presence that's here tonight. That you rain blessings upon those that are in attendance, those that are watching online. I could pray for complete restoration wherever the enemy is attacked your family your children your mind I pray for a complete restoration wherever you felt alone 
wherever you felt like your prayers were not being answered, Lord, I pray that you would strike those places in this season. Those unanswered prayers. Those, those, those prayers that have gone up before you. Father, I thank you for releasing angels on assignment. I pray for 24-hour miracles. 72-hour blessings. Father, may testimonies pour in. May even those that didn't come up tonight but have to go back to the doctor for verification of what you have done, Lord. May there be doctor verified miracles from this weekend. Lord, I thank you for your goodness, your grace, your glory. Where there's been sorrow, Lord, and tears, I pray for great extravagant joy to be given. Overwhelming intoxication of, of your presence to fill each and every person in the mighty name of Jesus. The last time she walked was six months ago. She came here tonight? How did you get here tonight? In a wheelchair. Where's the wheelchair at? Bring the wheelchair here. Come, 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 come here. It's amazing that you can walk. Is that what you said? Yeah. I have been, I've been weak and I'm a lot of infirmities and Jesus took them all. Yes. You felt the power of God tonight touch you. I did. I, yes. Thank you. And they brought you in tonight in a wheelchair? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's your wheelchair right there. Bring, bring the wheelchair up here. This is the wheelchair you've been using for years. Walk now. Yeah, of course. I mean, she's been in a wheelchair for years. When was, when was the last time you walked? Well, here's, it's been a few years, but I've had prayer a couple times and I would do better for a few weeks and then I would get really weak again. Yeah. But I felt I was supposed to be here again tonight. You felt like you were supposed to be here tonight. Yeah, I don't, God touched you tonight. Home. I don't, you I, don't even leave I don't house. Home. No, not unless I was here what, um, and when it became Eden. Yeah. was here. When was that? So people know you from here, and they know that you were in this wheelchair. Pastor Patty knows. Walk, walk right now. Every step you take, God's giving you strength. What, what, what's your name? Christina, come here for a minute. You haven't walked. God's given you strength. You've been in this wheelchair. Stretch your hands towards her right now. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, Come on and stretch your hands. Pray in the spirit if you pray in tongues. Yes. 
Father, we take authority over the spirit of infirmity that has attacked this woman. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for complete restoration in her body. Lord, thank you for your energy, your supernatural power of the Holy Ghost flowing through every cell of her being. And Lord, I give you glory for her complete restoration and healing. Lord, I thank you that she will not only walk out of here tonight, but Lord, she will walk back into this sanctuary and testify of your goodness and your power as the days move ahead and you've restored her completely in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe that, say amen. Just start walking in strength right now. Let's give the devil a heart attack tonight. Come on, you can do better than that. She came in here in a wheelchair. Hasn't, hasn't walked in three years. Come on, let's celebrate what Jesus is doing in her life tonight. She's walking even stronger than when she came up. Look at that. It's called the work in a miracles. It's called the work in a miracle. Look at that. Jesus is king. Hallelujah. Look at that. Come on. Our Jesus. Come on, let's give Jesus a shout tonight. Look at that. That is the power of God on that woman. This. There's the power of God that's a working of miracles. Only Jesus can do that. Only Jesus can do that. Only Jesus can do that. You're never going back into this thing again. You're never going back into this thing again. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. I feel like getting a little African tonight. I need two strong guys right now. I need two strong guys up here right now. Two strong guys. Run up here real quick and help me. Just lift this wheelchair oh, uh, up right now as she, and, and just walk behind her right now. We're gonna, this is like a bonky crusade tonight. Just say, just walk, just walk. You're healed. Look at that. Jesus is king. Let her just walk, walk all around. Just walk all around the whole meeting. Just keep on walking. 
Just follow her with the wheelchair. She never going. The devil is a liar. The devil tried to cripple her, put her in a wheelchair for three years. I wish you would get happy tonight and shout about it. The devil is defeated. He tried to lie, steal, and kill her life. But tonight, Jesus has given her life and life more abundantly. Come on, let's celebrate. Come on, let's lift our hands tonight and let's worship Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, lift it up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's sing tonight. Let's sing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. A little louder tonight. A little louder. Yeah. Just the voices.
come on, let's just lift up a shout of praise to Jesus tonight, for he is good. Come on, lift up a shout of victory in this room. Thank you to Prophet Charlie tonight. Thank you so much, Charlie. What a powerful night. God bless you. You are loved. Go and just give away what you've received this weekend. Okay, just go and give it away. Start, start a revival out of McDonald's, at your work, at your school, in your home. Just lay hands on everything with breath, okay? Cast out demons this week, okay? Raise the dead. Freely you've received freely give. God bless you. Love you.